Get on my show. Alright, let's shoot the damn video. What is up my interwebby type people? Welcome to Shareware, where we have been lately talking the greatest and latest in technology. Today, I have another one from Mixedier. Now, if you have seen some of my older videos, you might have seen that I did one for the Mixedier 872s, which were an on-ear Bluetooth headphone. Uh, these right here, in the audio realm, probably couldn't get further from what those were as a product. These right here are First of all, they're wired, which are the first ever wired speakers that I've had on this channel, which is kind of absurd, but I love the world that we live in because of it. Uh, these are wired uh, USB 2.0 speakers. Uh, they're designed for maybe like a laptop situation, but I'm gonna open these up and show you guys that they're actually, uh, I mean, I don't wanna give too much away before I actually get into the box, but they are very, very clean, very well done. And as always, I'm impressed with Mixedia. This is uh, environmental protection design, meaning that everything in here is eco-friendly and or uh, recycled and self-sustained in some way, which is always cool that, you know, that they're really pushing that because it's always on the top of all their products. That's awesome. Uh, it says heavy base, low power consumption, which being USB, you're probably looking at, you know, five volt, 2.1 amp max. Uh, so low consumption, but everything right now is low consumption. USB port and 3.5 audio jack. I feel like that's more of a handicap than a product feature at this point, but when we open them up, maybe I'll change my mind, I don't know. And single diaphragm times four. I don't know why they didn't write four diaphragms. I'm gonna go ahead, open these up, and uh, we'll look at them and talk a little bit more about them. Now, typical Mixedia fashion, you get your card and you get your little manual book, which you never ever look at, especially with something as plug and play easy user friendly as these uh, underneath here we have a weird little plasticky doodad and then we got the speakers finally the speakers which are small uh, but actually they're a really cool design and personally I think they look really clean and that's all you get in the box so I'm gonna put that over there but getting back to the speakers when it said single diaphragm times four aka four diaphragms that would be these bases on the sides uh, which are actually really cool uh, I've used these I think three times now just to make sure you know they worked and they were worthy of kind of making a product review for uh, and there's base is there as much base as I feel like they hype it up on the box and on Amazon no but there's base and you're not gonna expect much for 25 bucks these are worth $25 because of the way they look in general they're really really clean looking I am actually really surprised by these. They have a little logo on the bottom here, which kind of like pays homage to like the old school tower speakers that you would see in a home theater, which they're really kind of pushing these as a home theater type of speaker, which they're not, but it, it's cool that they're kind of giving them that look on the front grill. I like that a lot. They're just, they're genuinely clean. Now, weight wise, there's actually a, a, a fair amount of weight to them. I expected less being as, you know, there's a wire to these, there's power to them. They don't need, you know, internal batteries and things like that that Bluetooth speakers would. Uh, but there is some there is some weight there. Uh, they have 52 millimeter drivers, which is kind of the norm. Uh, decibel rating for these is 95 decibels, if I remember correctly, which I was curious and I downloaded an SPL meter, which is a sound pressure meter for my iPhone because I wanted to see exactly what the decibel rating was for my iMac to see if plugging these in really made that big of a difference. And these were 95 decibels and my iMac came in at 93 decibels. So, no. But these do give you that semi surround sound sound uh, when they're spaced out. And I would say there is more bass than what a typical iMac speaker is so if you have an iMac or you've heard an iMac at max volume that's kind of a good indicator uh, it's about as loud as those are but you you do get a little bit better sound quality I would say out of these uh, now I will say that I don't know if it has to do with the fact that they're running an auxiliary cord and uh, they're not Bluetooth and it doesn't seem to matter which computer I had them in my laptop and I had them in the iMac and uh, I was getting feedback when the volume which the volume uh, roller is on the back of the right speaker. Uh, when the volume roller is all the way up, you do get some feedback, which is 
annoying. It really is, especially if they're directly in front of you on your desk and you're trying to type and get some work done uh, and you're not listening to music. You're constantly hearing white noise, which is just kind of kind of not the greatest. Now, I don't remember if I said it, but they are three watts a piece. So you have a maximum volume of six watts combined overall sound at 95 decibels. So it is more than loud enough to fill an office or a bedroom. I will say towards the uh, upper, you know, 90%, 100% volume, there is some distortion. But if you keep it around 80, it's actually a pretty decent sound. Speaking of sound, let's go ahead and I'm gonna plug these in to the five volt USB as well as the auxiliary into my cell phone. And uh, let's try to make some music, shall we? And hopefully you'll understand how they sound. But so I'm gonna go ahead, let me first of all, let me crank the volume up and we'll see if we can get that hum out of them that I've been talking about. Now that's pretty loud. So you should be able, that should be hopefully picking up on my lav mic. So kick it down to about 50% and that goes away. But that is something that, you know, when you're looking for uh, clean desk speakers, this is about 80% volume. I miss you when I can't sleep. Right after coffee, or right when I can't eat. Miss you in my front seat. If I were you, I would never let me go. I hate you, I love you. I hate that, I love you. Don't want to, but I can't put nobody else above you. These days, I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to be there when you need me. It feels like the only time you see me. It's when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently So hopefully you got an indication of how loud they get and the bass quality. Now, as far as what the box indicates, the heavy bass, I'm not really hearing it. I'm hearing some bass, but I mean, again, $25, they look sharp. What else could you really ask for? Now, this is kind of a, a funny market here where you could get a Bluetooth speaker for the price uh, and probably the quality, but you're typically, you're not gonna get two. Bluetooth speakers come as one speaker. You got omnidirectional sound. With these, you can play around a bit and move them around. And, and there's a little more customization there to your sound quality. Uh, whereas with a Bluetooth speaker, it's just always pointed one direction at all times, typically for this price point. Uh, which is kind of funny when thinking about that something that's tethering you via a cord and a Bluetooth speaker is supposed to be, you know, free and uh, capable of being mobile these are actually the more mobile option when it comes to desk style audio you know if you're if you're a college kid and you got a laptop set up and you want something that sounds better than what your uh, sound card does in your current laptop and you need something cheap because you're on a budget go with something like this because these really are for 25 bucks i can't complain Anyways, guys, that is it for this one. Like the video, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me if there's something else you'd like me to review and I'll try to get my grubby little fingers on it. Head and hit that subscribe button and I'll be forever grateful. I know I'm giving you a lot of homework and I'm sorry about it. Anyways, love you all. Deuces, kitties.